Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. Again, we are doing a ruddy duck. And what I went ahead and did was I shaped up the oval portion of it as well as I'm going to do it today. And I still have that reference point everywhere uh, in the center of, of, of um, the bird here. Um, we're trying to make them look somewhat similar to this. We'll get close, not exactly as always, but pretty close. I have to figure out what size eyes are in there. Um, they're either a four, I think they're a f number four uh, or a five. So I'll figure that out and then I'll let you guys know uh, what you'll need for that. Um, the one thing we're going to do, if you look at this particular carving, we're going to have to do the bill here. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it inward first. Okay, so we're going to do it, and they've got kind of a large bill. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one line across like so, and another line across like so. So all this needs to be removed, alright? All that stuff that needs to be removed. So we're going to do that now. What you want to do is you want to take your knife, and you're going to go across like so. Alright, and then you're going to chop it up. So I'm going to go to a different knife here. I need a smaller knife, a detailed knife. So all you're going to do is try to keep that line, that straight going in, that that doesn't go in like this as you're cutting, okay? I don't know if you remember me telling you that before, but we want to, the duck bill on a ruddy duck is a little more pronounced outward than this. So I'm going to make this one just a tad different than what we have sitting there. So and then here we're going to go back and you're going to recut it. Okay, you're going to take your time, take little slivers out. All right. There's no hurry for this. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you really quickly is how do you measure that you get the same spot here as over here? All right. The way to do that is to take your finger, remember we lean our finger against it, put our put, put our little notch there and then run it right across the bill in the front and that will tell you where to put the notch at the top. The same thing with the bottom. We're going to measure it like this, again with our finger and the pencil and then go to the other side and measure the same and then connect the two. All right. So it's really simple to figure out. Uh, yeah, those little tricks uh, you learn along the way, and um, I don't do a lot with a ruler. Um, I size it a lot of things that way uh, with the with that method I just showed you. Makes life so much easier. So again, um, you know, I've I've had a lot of fun doing these videos. I know there's a, I've done a lot of different projects. Um, I have that eagle I'm going to do next after this one. I need to find a better pattern for it. I was going to do it earlier, but I felt I wasn't quite ready to do that yet. So, okay, so when we go offline here for a little bit, you're going to cut that bill in. And then when we come back, we'll start shaping this head, and then I'll show you how to make that little V cut at the top and how to cut out those um, those eyes and how to put that crown on top of the head there. See that? See the top is much much shorter, much thinner than the cheeks are. And that's how it is with most of the carvings of ducks. See this? This is much wider than the crown part of the head. And then the eyes go inward. Alright? All my ducks and birds have that. Okay? See? Same thing here. This is This is wider, this is thinner. Alright, so when you're offline, go ahead and cut those, those out. And actually we can, whoops, <laughs> um, we can make that just a tad inward. It doesn't have to be that pronounced. Okay, so go ahead and cut this portion out and this portion out. And then we'll start with get rounding up the head. Alright, we'll be back. 